This next one's a bit closer to home because I was on the pitch at the time, but I can see where fans found it funny because with time it is funny. My mate Stevie Morrow was the fall guy, literally. We just won the League Cup and Stevie Morrow had proved the unlikely hero with the winning goal. When Steve decided to jump on Tony's back, but Tony didn't want him on his back. A broken arm was not the ideal way to celebrate being a cup final hero. You realise something had gone on from the moment Morrow fell and a crowd of players went round him and, you know, what worse could happen is your biggest day, your biggest moment in your career, you're playing at Wembley and uh, Tony Adams drops you over his shoulder, pretty much in some respects ended Steve Morrow's career at Arsenal because he never seemed to recover from that. Dropped by the big donkey, uh, you know, to kind of paraphrase a, uh, a famous TV show and what a brutal thing for Morrow. I'm sure everyone's aware that he ended up missing the FA Cup final because of that. Still, I think there was always an air of an ease in his eyes when he was hoisted aloft by Tony, you know, and uh, probably uh, unsolicited, you know, I don't think he said, Oi, Tony, pitch me on your shoulders, because you look like you're a straightforward, unwobbly sort of person, and then woo. Actually, what struck me about that were the haircuts, really, more than anything. Those incredible afros of people like uh, Ray Parler, for instance. What a pratty look, I mean, really. You know, he'd probably come out before the game with the curlers, sort of just to get the heated rollers, must have been used in those days. Obviously, I can't claim to have ever tried them. But uh, Ad and Adams, well, was it before or after he'd been caught on the juice? I don't know, but he certainly had wobbly grip. Ray Parler's hair has always been unruly, but you can see we're very much kind of in the 80s, early 90s, ludicrous wonder stuff type of haircuts here, because even Paul Merson's got this nasty kind of bouffant bob. And what's also quite funny about the two of them, if you look closely, is that they're kind of looking across going, I think he's, uh, I think he's broken something there, Stephen. Ray Parler's gently arranging his manhood while he's chatting. Up. I think he's probably, he probably missed the FA Cup final anyway. I think I'm fine, so uh, bollocks to him. Hero to zero for Steve Morrow. And um, it just shows how quickly your sporting world can change. You've come on, you've won the cup, it's the greatest moment of your life, and all of a sudden your shoulder is broken. Cheers, Tony Adams. Thank you very much indeed.